Hi, uh, my name is Ben. Uh, I'm a software engineer. Uh, so base, uh, my job is like I'm the lead software uh, engineer, I guess. My name is Josh. I'm an electrical engineer. I'm leading the electrical sub teams for us. I'm Derek. I'm a computer engineer, um, and I am the lead firmware engineer. I'm Jeff, and I'm a mechanical engineer, and I'm also the administrative lead for the team. I'm John, I'm an industrial designer, and I'm the design lead. Um, it started out as like the e-bike club, um, and we built a couple of e-bikes. Um, and then three years ago, we decided to, to move into this big project. Um, didn't, didn't make much progress the first year, it was mostly fundraising and uh, and like conceptual designs, like what we wanted to do, how we wanted to do it. And by the end of that year, we'd managed to get this frame that you see here. And since then, it's been a lot of incremental work to get to where we are now. So we started, this is a frame from a 2005 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6RR. Some of the biggest uh, from the ground up stuff that we've done is the battery management system that we're using. It's completely designed by us and it's, uh, it's very cool. The frame that we have is obviously designed uh, at the beginning to be a gas-powered vehicle, so there is uh, volume constraints in terms of where we can put components. Um, since the battery boxes themselves are just rectangular, it's a lot harder to fit those efficiently. A lot of people don't realize how powerful electric motors really are. Um, the power to weight ratio is far greater than any gasoline engine can output. Um, and as a result, we're going to produce stresses on some of the components that the gasoline engine experiences, uh, or doesn't experience, rather. Um, and we have to make sure that we design so that the parts can handle that, ex that extra power for such a small vehicle. Engineers are obviously more attracted to these types of projects since the um, <coughs> majority of the components that need to be, be developed uh, are from the engineering side. Um, but we're open to just about anybody. We're always trying to branch out and attract more people because obviously we want the team yeah, to grow and yeah. to, you know we want as much help as we can from say a marketing standpoint or a sponsorship standpoint mm -hmm. um, as well as like contacting people like drivers or finding things like transportation to races and yeah. other yeah, aspects definitely. that the team is going to need the, the more that we want to do mm -hmm. later on. Yeah, we don't... So I guess the best way to answer is we haven't yet had much more than engineers and one or two IDs or somebody else, um, but we need more. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one of the cool aspects of what we're doing is uh, we're making all the information available for the world to see on our website. So uh, hopefully in July when we're racing, come check us out. Yeah. yeah. EVT.RIT.edu. Yeah. Everything, um, everything will be published live all the time, so you can check it out anytime. And, see what's going on with the bike and there'll be race footage, all the, all the good stuff. Yeah.